nice little piece of sea bass. How about that? Caught it fresh this morning. Don't need the glove on for this one. Very, very simple. This one's already been filleted and gutted. Or sorry, not gutted, not filleted. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Very simple little recipe, this one. I like to keep everything simple so that everybody can do it. A few capers going in there. A few olives going inside there. Okay. A good sprinkle of oregano in there as well. All right. Get some of these beautiful little tomatoes in and around here. Okay. Quick clover garlic. Love garlic with everything. Just get that in there. We're going to do this, as they say, what we call an Italian cartouche. So we'll actually just do it inside the tin foil. Again, a little bit more sprinkle of herbs on the outside. Keep it really, really simple. A little drizzle of olive oil over there. So there you go, a few little tomatoes around there. Very quickly, just to give it something to cook in, a little splash of white wine in there. Okay. Just make sure we've got a little drizzle of olive oil on there. Okay. And then seal it up inside the tin foil. So it's almost going to steam cook inside there. Now, there's absolutely no reason whatsoever not to put it in the oven like that, as long as it's well sealed. Safer though, put it in a little tray. That way you guarantee that you're not going to get all those fishy oils onto the floor of your oven, should it actually decide to leak slightly. Okay, okay. Sea bass in the oven. Probably going to need around five to 10 minutes to sea bass. Okay, all the time while we're doing this, making sure that the fire is rolling over the oven and the oven's gradually building up in temperature. I can see now the whole of the oven is almost white again. So it was black when we lit it and now it's almost white again. And that's always a good sign that we're approaching pizza temperature. Just keep feeding it gently. It's now been in there for around about 10 minutes and what I want to do very very quickly is just open it up see how we're getting on it's cooking nicely okay and what we're going to do is just actually put a few of these lovely king prawns in here with this a few little crayfish okay just to dress it all up nicely a little bit of a drizzle back in the oven just for another two or three minutes just to cook nicely. And as you can see, what I've got now, the oven's really nice and hot, it's almost ready for pizza. So I'm just using my little candles, just so that all I'm doing is putting a little bit of light, a little bit of direct flame in the oven without actually increasing the temperature too much. Because it is important, you can get these ovens too hot on the floor. Um, obviously it's a very, very high quality baking stone. Um, but you can get it too hot and if it's too hot you're just going to burn the bottom of your pizzas before you've cooked the top of your pizzas. So it's just about getting that nice balance. Okay so our sea bass has had about 10 minutes sealed and then we've just taken it out, put those prawns and crayfish on and just finished it off uh, another two, three minutes just in the oven. Okay, take it out. Okay. Smells absolutely delicious. And if you really want to, if your guests are not are a bit shy, quickly whip the head off. Quickly whip the tail off and open it up. Lovely fresh meat. There we go. Beautifully cooked. Ten minutes. 